Hello, brothers and sisters of the light, fellow star seeds, way showers, light bringers, change makers. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message from the Night Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for May 11th, 2022. And the title of this message is You Have Been Preparing Your Whole Lives for This. And they say, greetings, we are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are so very excited about what is to come next for humanity because we know that the experience of the growth that you have in front of you is going to be pure ecstasy, especially for those of you who take that growth on fully. Those of you who accept the expansion that is available to you are always going to enjoy the ride more than those who are fighting against change, progress, movement forward that is inevitable. Therefore, you could say that you have been preparing your whole lives for this, for what is to come. You have been clearing out your traumas, your chakras, your negative beliefs, thoughts and emotions to get you to this point where you would be able to take on all of the potential growth that there is there for you. And when you embrace it, when you know that it is the next step in your evolution, it is so fun, playful, and enjoyable to partake in. Now, as you know, everything is changing there on earth and changing for the better. Those inevitable changes are the result of all that humankind has lived collectively leading up to this point. The changes have all been asked for and the asking has been answered in the affirmative. And now it is about opening up the floodgates to let it all in. And those of you who are ready for the energies of change will not have the impediments in the way that others around you do. In other words, by clearing out everything that you have released, you have made yourselves these wonderful vessels for high frequency energies to flow through. But not everyone has been doing this and they are going to have a harder time. Anytime you see someone clinging to something, feel compassion for them and send love. But also ask yourself, is there is anything that you are still clinging to that you need to let go of in order to be that open, pure, clear vessel? And know that all that you allow to flow through you will eventually get to those who are clinging, who are closed off, and who are afraid of change. They are coming along for the ride, whether they know it or not, and the ride will include some dismantling of old systems that really only worked for the few anyway. And the new systems are being birthed all the time. They are in the stage of infancy right now, but they are growing. They are growing in power and numbers, and those of you who are focused on those new systems are bringing more energy to them. You are doing a wonderful job of ushering in the changes that will support the new level of consciousness. These changes reflect the new level of consciousness as well. And when you feel for it, when you feel for more of that oneness and equality, more of that unity, you know that it feels right to you. You know that everyone is a part of this giant puzzle that is source and everyone's peace fits in some way. As you set the example of playing your part beautifully and willingly, you make it easier for others to remember who they really are and the part that they have to play in this cosmic dance of ascension. The ascension will of course continue until we all return home to source and to the feeling of who we really are. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Now, I liked everything about this message. I really, truly did. I will be able to place the words below in the show more section so you can read these words for yourself. This marvelous message was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com. You can also find Daniel's fine work on the Sananda website or voyagesoflight.blogspot.com. I am Julie Joy, your servant to the light. And once again, it's my extreme honor and pleasure to bring another magnificent message to all of you.